Hello everybody, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot. This is To Weird Dude, and we left off right before Pinstripe, the next boss. Crash is like, just right there by the way. Silly camera angles. Anyway, let's go ahead and get going. Oh dear, Pinstripe's a crazy guy. This uh, boss has a unique mechanic where you gotta stay behind either of the two chairs in the corners uh, and then you'll dodge his bullets. Okay, you just gotta spin him... Uh, yeah, as he's moving from couch to couch. This changes up as the level goes on. Or as the fight goes on, I don't know. Also, you can even just like spin him twice. Or all well, three times even. If you're ready to do that. But then he moves on to a different thing, so you can't really spin him anymore. Then he becomes a maniac like that. And I believe he, he has gun jams or whatever. And then he comes back. So that should just... Oh, he's staying to that side, okay. I guess I'll get over there. Gosh, sorry I wasn't prepared. Also, yeah, you can see, like, toxic waste plant behind him or whatever. So, I don't know. He's just the manager of the area. He's not, like, a gangster or anything. What are you talking about? You're just crazy. Alright. Then for this last one... Well, he'll do that. He'll go up there as usual. And his gun will jam up there. But otherwise, yeah. It's a fairly simple pattern. Again, the bosses in this game, they're fairly simple and easy. Yeah! Took a moment to realize, like, oh, oh! I won! Oh my gosh, I won! That's all good. So he's a neat guy. Anyway, yeah, now we're gonna go to the high road, which is, you know, um, similar to the road to nowhere. Oh. So this is where the game is kind of jerkish. I will abuse these free lives. See, you go behind us, and you see there's like a lump here. Like, oh, okay. Well, maybe I can just keep running then. No. No, they're abusing the invisible platforms here. So I already know what to do. Uh, like you, you get two platforms, you do a full jump, two platforms, and yeah, you just make it to the end here. But yeah, if you didn't know what to do, that's that's quite a hassle to deal with. Goodness gracious. And yeah, it's okay that I died at the very beginning there, as we figured out. Because yeah, we can get the gem here, so long as I don't foolishly die or something. So don't even worry about it. I can see you worrying there. You knock it off, man. I know what I'm doing. Well, okay, I might not know exactly what I'm doing. I didn't practice a ton beforehand because I'm like that. Get with it. But the high road shouldn't be too hard. It's the road... <laughs> no, the, the road? It's the level after this one that's got me quite worried. Especially since I didn't really practice it too much. But it should be... Yeah, that was my bad. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, you see there's a lot of themes of turtle stomping in this level. And I'm really messing up. Maybe I should be worried I didn't practice. But no, guys, it's totally... It's totally okay, guys! Come on! Yeah, that's the generic death screen, by the way. Don't think I've shown it off at all yet. Like, if you just run into an enemy, you're likely to just get that screen. Yeah. There's, um... Like, a lot more death screens in the next games. But in this game, it's, you know, it's pretty simple. There's like that. You can get crushed. Uh, you can fall. You can burn. You know, it's electrified. Stuff like that. Yeah, any generic enemy, that's just what you're gonna get. Which is kind of a shame, but ultimately unimportant. And I'm just a silly guy. Look, they've already defeated the turtles for us. That's just really nice of them. Yeah, make sure you jump up here, because that's the sneaky one. Also, there's like... No Aku Akus around here, so that's funky. 
I'm not complaining. I legitimately died and stuff, but... Well, I guess, yeah, actually it does make sense. Because I believe when you use Aku Aku and it, when he protects you from a hit, he, like, spins the enemy away. So that, you know, you can't really use them or, or something, I guess. And since a lot of this level is about bouncing off the enemies, that's kind of important. So I can appreciate that, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Tana stopped looking so glim glam. I don't even know. Let's keep doing this level. Yeah, hopefully getting the gem won't be a hassle. Because goodness gracious, I have not proved myself here today on this battlefield. Like so. Hmm. Turtle bouncing can be fun. Just ask Mario. But goodness gracious, if I'm apparently so terrible at it. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll get to this level next, but I need to gem this, so be right back. There we go, that should do it. Let's just make sure I didn't miss anything. And I'm good. Yeah, this screen gets longer and longer as you get more jams. Just look at our fabulous collection. It's really nice. Alright, so the next level we're going to is called Slippery Climb. Here's the thing. If Sunset Vista isn't the hardest level in the game, then it's Slippery Climb. And I have, yeah, memories of this being exceptionally hard. So, and yeah, it's very moody, very gloomy. Let's see, uh, so here's the thing. Um, like, a lot of the levels have, like, variations on themselves, you know, using the same theme and such. Uh, this level, uh, ended up being, like, the only level of its kind. But it was gonna have, like, another one just like it. Uh, thing is, they removed it because it was too hard. So, yeah, that might inform you what this level is like. I don't know. It's this level that ruins me, maybe. If we just take it calm and slow, though, it might not be. It might be terrible. Okay, I'll, I'll fast forward to that point. Alright, here we are again. Or maybe it was there again. It was probably there. But either way, we got some tricky jumps there, as you saw. Because things just can't go our way. Man, this is only even the first part of the level. Like Sunset Vista. Oh, there's Embryo here, by the way. Like Sunset Vista, uh, like, yeah, there's, like, multiple levels to this. We'll be going up and up and up. Like, to the side and then up. I don't know. Just how these levels go, I guess. Uh, and yeah, I believe this level is fairly long. So, yeah, I'm not sure what this episode's time will look like. Because we did, like, two regular levels, or a boss, a regular level. And then the giant level of ultimate doom and evil. So, it may be a bit of a long episode. Um, sorry if that's not your thing. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Just stay calm and get the timing right. Otherwise, you could potentially kill yourself. Uh, 
Yeah, there's like a lot of tricky jumps here with a lot of timing and you just gotta trust that your jump will work out. And uh, yeah, just give me a second to process this. All right. Mm, that worked out. But yeah, again, as you saw, like if you fail that, you just get uh, like launched right into these spiky things. Okay. I freaked out a little bit there, but it was okay. It was okay. Didn't even need to worry about it. Come on, man. And, oh yeah, so if you're just like a player just trying to play through the level, not worried about the gems, this is the first checkpoint. It, yeah, you have to like replay all of that if you've failed or whatever. I don't know, it's pretty ridiculous. Doesn't really concern us, because I have to try to be perfect anyway. But, goodness gracious, man. This level is just cruel and barbaric. Oh, dearie me. Yeah. I don't even know. I think we're... Yeah, this is actually already the top layer, though. So that's not too bad, actually. Oh, jeez. But here's a scientist throwing stuff. Jeez, dude. You gotta be doing that? Yeah, stop it, man. Come on. I don't know, that's like the first time we've seen a scientist, but... Like, they've become so common in some of the other games, so it's... It's kind of a funny thing to see, I guess. Alright. Woo! Right into the bird, which conveniently flies right there for reasons. I don't know why. But I appreciate it. He's a true friend. Or she. I won't judge. Wait, that's kind of a terrible thing to say. Uh, I think. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. If you found it offensive. Goodness. Okay, that was a close jump. Also, yeah, these guys are just kind of creepy, but they're not really difficult to deal with. But still, just very creepy. Okay. Oh, that's the third embryo. Well, that was, um, okay. See, the thing that I'm expecting, if my calculations are correct, oh boy, this is, okay, is that I think they're supposed to be, oh, jeez, I think they're supposed to be, um, yeah, embryo. There's supposed to be three cortexes in this level as well. So, I am expecting that. And I guess there aren't any Tanas, which is rude for such a long level that you don't really get to... Crap. Okay. Well, I guess I'm doing this level again for however many times. But the fact that there's no Tanas, so that you can't save, like, after beating this really hard level, is a shame. Man. Now I'm upset. What did I do to deserve this? And, uh, drop down like a cool guy. I'm not very good at that, though. Hmm. I don't know, I'm starting to question if there's actually any Cortexes, because, yeah, this is the end of the level. I can just pass this guy. Stop it. We get some free lives, which is nice. Hmm. Well, okay. So it's not as long as Sunset Vista, but I'd say it's quite difficult. Especially since I have to play through it again now. So, I guess I'll do that. I'll be right back.
I guess I'll commentate now. Oh, jeez. Because I'm basically in the clear. Unless I screw up this last jump. I did not. Okay. That should be all the boxes. Like, they don't hide any away. But, you know, the level as a whole is really ridiculously hard. Not as hard as Sunset Vista, I guess. I suppose my vote for hardest level goes to that one. But we get a red gem for this one. So that's nice. So anyway... Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop it there for now. I figure the episode should be plenty long by now. Um, but on the next one, we'll go to Lights Out, which uh, will be quite a unique level. So anyway, this has been To Weird Dude, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.